Well, we got a little video from the uh, goggles on the Avada 2, along with a uh, picture in picture of the uh, video from the drone itself. And this did not set out to be a range test per se, but it kind of accidentally turned into one because I was uh, just traveling up the hillside here at uh, one of my listings that I had. And uh, I was uh, wanting to illustrate the uh, terrain and the fact that it was suitable for hunting. And I was just flying up the uh, side of the hill here until I got to the uh, property line, approximate property line. We always got to throw in that approximate and I am not an attorney, yada, yada, yada. But in any case, we're flying up the hillside here and uh, I didn't really anticipate uh, running into any range problems, but hang on here a minute and we'll see what happened. Now, for those of you familiar with the uh, Nevada 2, the uh, RC is the uh, control signal and the HD uh, level indicator down there is the video feed that I'm getting back from the uh, drone to my goggles. And of course the uh, little uh, megabits per second there is showing 27, 22, 15, 12, it's bouncing on down. And we see the uh, HD uh, video signal has uh, dropped down considerably and we're only 380 feet away. In fact, uh, as you can see, the uh, goggles view is getting a little bit blurry here. So I kind of took it slow at this point and uh, struggled my way through, but uh, I did pick up the signal again, which we'll see here in just a second. So I continued on up the hill. Now you see it's really down there on the HD signal now and getting pretty uh, pixelated. And I just kind of stopped here for a minute and said, let's take a look and see if we want to push any further. And you can see my video signal, the HD signal there is picked back up a little bit. And we're hanging right around five to 10 and now it's down to three megabits per second. So, we're still pushing. We're 540 feet away from the uh, uh, goggles right now. So we got a decent signal at this point. So I kept on pushing. So see the signal dropping down there a little bit again. Coming up on 800 feet away from the controller. And we've got our little red mark at the bottom and the HD signals down to two bars. 830 feet, basically. I'm pushing it. And not only are we losing the video signal now, we're also losing the control signal. And that was what really worried me because had it lost control signal, it would have attempted to return to home. And unfortunately, I had set the return to home altitude at something like 100 feet or more. So it would have tried to climb up through them trees and would have probably snagged a branch on the way up, which wouldn't have been too bad if it had just gone ahead and crashed, but uh, would have been more bad if it had got hung up in a branch about 50 feet up a tree. So uh, I'm not going to take a chance on that. So we turned around and came back down the hill. So there you go. So we hit a maximum distance of 860 feet through the trees and up the hillside. So that's about all she would do. And had I been a little smarter and not set a return to home altitude and just told it to land where it was if it lost signal, I would have pushed it a little bit further. But like I say, I didn't want to have it try to climb up through them dadgum trees and uh, get lost on me. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.